coming down the aisle is our wonderful uh, groom, Matt McGregor, accompanied with his mother, Kathleen, and Alexis' son, Bradford. The ring bearer. His studly pinstripes. <laughs> And coming up next, we have Nina, accompanied by Jeff and Mike. And now we have Paige, accompanied by Tony. Who gives the bride and marriage to the groom? I do. These guys do. We get some... Today, as we join Matt and Alexis in marriage, we celebrate them as they begin a new family together. Yet we also know that this is a new branch of the family tree will be strengthened and enriched by love, traditions, and the appreciation of their roots. Does this couple have the blessing of their family for this marriage? Yes. On behalf of our family, with love, joy, and support for this union, we give our blessing. Thank you, Tori. Knowing Ron, Matt's dad, very well, I have full faith that he would have loved and supported this union as much as I do. I freely give my blessings. Thank you, Kathleen. Ron? Now, today, I feel an overwhelming energy in the air. I feel it more abundantly in my heart. It's one of happiness and joy, and it appears to be shining down from the heavens above can only be of one of the greatest people I've ever had the opportunity to meet. A person who once touched my life and taught me so much, as well as he may have taught many of you here today. I enjoyed the fun and excitement he brought with him everywhere he went. Ron McGregor, who I know is watching down on us with his heart filled purely with joy, so proud to be a part of this big day. I know he's here watching. I can feel him around us, and if you listen closely, you can hear the sound of his harmonica as he's playing songs of happiness for his son and his beautiful bride-to-be. Now, upon accepting this gift of the opportunity to wed my dear friends, I was faced with many challenges, what to say, where to find the information. I was given all this direction. I said, what do you want this to be like? I said, do whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Just throw tradition out the window. I couldn't throw it all completely out the window. But through my studies, I found some really perfect words. Uh, and they remind me a lot as I read them. They remind me of what I'm seeing here today with Matt and Alexis that I see every day. And uh, I'd like to recite these words for you. You may have heard it. I might tell you who it was later. Only once in your life, I truly believe, you find someone who completely turn, can turn your world around. You tell them the things that you have never shared with another soul, and they absorb everything you say and actually want to hear more. You share your hopes for the future, 
dreams that will never come true, goals that were never achieved, and the many disappointments life has thrown at you. When something wonderful happens, you can't wait to tell them about it, knowing they will share in your excitement. They are not embarrassed to cry with you when you are hurting or laugh when you make a fool of yourself. Never do they hurt your feelings or make you feel like you're not good enough, but rather they build you up and show you the things about yourself that make you special and even beautiful. There is never any pressure, jealousy, or competition, but only a quiet calmness when they are around. You can be yourself and not worry about what they think of you because they know that they love you for who you are. The things that seem insignificant to most people, such as a note, song, or walk, become invaluable treasures kept safe in your heart to cherish forever. Memories of your childhood come back and are so clear and vivid, it's like being young again. Colors seem brighter and more brilliant. Laughter seems part of the daily life where before it was infrequent or didn't exist at all. A phone call or two during the day helps to get through a long day's work and always brings a smile to your face. In their presence, there's no need for continuous conversation, but you find you're quite content in just having them nearby. Things that never interested you before become fascinating because you know they're important to the person who is special to you. You think of this person on every occasion and in everything you do. Simple things bring them to mind like a pale blue sky, gentle wind, or even a storm cloud on the horizon. You open your heart knowing that there's a chance it may be broken one day, and in opening your heart, you experience a love and joy that you never dreamed possible. You find that being vulnerable is the only way to allow your heart to feel the true pleasures that so real they scare you. You find strength in knowing you have a true friend and possibly a soulmate who will remain loyal to the end. Life seems completely different, exciting, and worthwhile. Your only hope and security is knowing that they are a part of your life. I'd like to take this opportunity for the guests. If you guys have any Words of wisdom, encouragement, love or advice, maybe a memory you want to share? I'm going to open it up to you if you'd like. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Words of wisdom. Words to live by. <laughs> Anybody else? This is your opportunity. Matt is going to make a great husband. I've known him for a very long time. And her too. I was nine. Yeah, yes. 1989. All right. Now, Alexis and Matt want to plant a tree together. A tree has a lot of significance and the way the roots and things are. And uh, it's really hard to plant a tree. So most of the work was done yesterday. But I see that they left one shovel of dirt here, and together they'd like to complete the job of planting their tree. Yes, you are. As I recite some words about the tree and what you're doing. See, love is a temporary madness. It erupts like an earthquake, and then it subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work it out whether your roots have become so entwined together that it's inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. It is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That's just being in love, which any of us convin can convince ourselves that we are. Love itself is what is left over when being in love is burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. And when all the pretty blossoms from your tulip tree fall from your branches, you will find that you are not one tree, you were, or you're not, you were one tree all along and not two. In your time together, your roots have grown towards each other. Your past, your present, and your future will forever be intertwined. Today, we are here to celebrate this commitment and devotion as we together look towards the future you will share. I was going to ask you to step forward and take each other's hands, but you've already got them. <laughs> <clears throat> so take each other's hands so that you may see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you. They are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. 
These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together they, you will build a future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when you fear or grief temporarily comes your way. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that will lift your chin and brush your cheek as they raise your face to look into your eyes that are filled with an overwhelming love for you. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Now Matt, is it your, is it your intent to make Alexis your awfully, lawfully wedded wife today? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he said, yes, of course. And Alexis, do you intend to take Matt to be your lawfully wedded husband today? Yes. All right, so I just need you to understand this, that after just a few moments from now, anything that happens from here until the future to the end of times, no matter what it is, no matter what happens, Matt, it's all your fault. <laughs> you understand this? I tried to tell you, it's too late now. It's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> There's cameras everywhere. <laughs> uh, so it is my understanding that you've written your own vows. Would you like to share those now? And who would like to go first? lover and my soulmate. You have believed in me when no one else would, helped me triumph over challenges presented, encouraged my personal growth, and boosted my self-esteem. You have taught me that through love, empathy, and dedication, two strong individuals can join together in an even stronger union. You have helped me become the person I am today. I promise to love you for who you are <clears throat> and, for, and for who you are yet to become. I promise to trust and value your opinions and to stand by your actions. I promise to share my whole heart with you <clears throat> and to remember to show you how deeply I care for you, no matter the challenges that may come our way. I promise to kiss you, say I love you, and grab your ass at least once a day, as long as I shall live. Today, I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. That was beautiful. Matt, my amazing man, where would I be without you? I can't imagine my life without you in it. You are truly my soulmate, my moon and stars, the sun in my universe, my one and only true love. I vow to support you in everything you do, to be the crazy to your sane and the loud to your quiet, but to always listen when you need to be heard. I vow to always be here for you when you need me and never leave your side, no matter what, and to remind you how amazing you are when you forget. I vow to love you unconditionally with my whole heart for the rest of my life. I take you as my husband with a smile on my face knowing that I belong with you. Very beautiful. Okay, now that you, beloved friends and family of Matt and Alexis, have heard them recite their vows, do you promise from this day forward to encourage these two to... <coughs> Sorry, encourage them with love, to offer them joys of your friendship, to give them your guidance, your strength at times of conflict, your wisest counsel, the comfort of your thoughtful concern, 
and to support them in being steadfast in the promises they have made. You better. <laughs> May we present the rings. Bring them right over there. Love freely has no giver and no receiver. You are each the giver and you are each the receiver. This wedding ring is a symbol in visible form of the unbroken circle of your love that wherever you may go, you may always return to your shared life together. May these rings always call to mind the power of your love. Matt, please take Alexis's ring. Place it on her finger. And repeat after me. Alexis, I give you this ring as a symbol that I choose you to be my wife, to be my partner and my best friend, today, tomorrow, and always. Wear it, think of me, and know that I love you. Alexis, please take Matt's ring. Place it on his finger. <laughs> Got it. Now, Alexis, repeat after me. <laughs> Matt, I give you this ring as a symbol that I choose you. To be my husband, my partner, and my best friend today. Tomorrow and always. Wear it, think of me, and know that I love you. In old Scottish tradition, I'd like to give you a blessing. A thousand welcomes to you with your marriage. May you be healthy in all your days. May you be blessed with long life and peace. May you grow old with goodness and with riches. Matt and Alexis, in the presence of your family and friends who have joined you to share this moment of joy, you have declared your deep love and affection for each other. You have stated your wish to live together, always open to a deeper, richer friendship and partnership. You have formed your own union based on respect and honor. Therefore, it is my joyful responsibility to officially acknowledge your union as husband and wife. You may kiss the bitch. <laughs> now before you guys leave, Bradford and Paige have something for you. This is an old Scottish tradition that the youngest members of the family give you a horseshoe that represents good luck and fortune. Just, you just have to hang it up with the shoe up and you will be blessed forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, that came in today. <laughs> you guys are good now. Uh, you guys are husband and wife. Congratulations, man, Alexis. Thank you for letting us share in this great day. We had fun. Thank you. <laughs> you guys rocked. <laughs> you are done. Grab your flowers. Don't forget to get a picture before you go. Step up to the green, get your picture, and proceed out of here.
Thank you, everybody. There's going to be some food ready here soon. we got tables behind me. You guys all want to... Uh,